What's up guys? Welcome back to Kirby and Shay. This is KB. I'm Shay. In today's video, we're gonna do a podcast. We've tried to start so many podcasts. <laughs> so <coughs> we just started getting to this talk about like who we are as people and how like that has changed, how our friendship is. And it was just like really good. So we're just like, let's <laughs> let's film this and throw it on YouTube. Basically we're just talking about that kind of stuff and then why uh the podcast name is what it is. Oh, <laughs> That never happens to me. <laughs> so, what kind of changes in who we are do you think have, like, affected like, our relationship now? Like, what things have, like, really changed and made us closer? Like, we talked about how, like, experiences have. Yeah. But, like, is there any, like, specific things you're thinking of? Uh, I feel like a big part of it is just dealing with stupid boys. Right? Definitely. I agree with that. <laughs> Especially because we both dated those boys. <laughs> um, Some of them are the same boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, though, because when we did date them, we had, like, really similar, but also, like, completely different, like, experiences. But it was, like, the same exact vibe, the same exact, like, issues and yeah. everything, but, in, like, in different ways. And yeah. we, like, talked about it, I'm like, he did that to me like this. What the crap? Like, yeah. Being able to share that kind of stuff. Like, it's weird that we date all the same people a lot, but also it's like, being able to talk about that yeah. has made us closer. And even when it's not, being able to share our experiences, especially when it's something negative, where you're like, dude, we're not alone. You yeah, we're definitely it. able to, like, point out, like, red flags more accurately now. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so fast almost. Yeah. <laughs> Like, and be able, being able to just, like, read people's energy, mm -hmm. like, has helped so much. Like, there's been so many people, like, even if I thought they were cute and stuff, like, just the way they said hi or, like, walked towards me and stuff, I'm like, no. <laughs> like, I can tell now, like, and it has saved so much time and, like, almost embarrassment. Because I just, yeah. like, I know, so I'm not going to let my mind waver from that. So even if they do reach the point where they can talk to me, I'm going to stand my ground and be like, no, I'm not interested. Is that too or many embarrassing yes, moments to not have any more of embarrassing moments? <laughs> but we're probably still going to have so many more embarrassing moments. <laughs> definitely. I definitely feel like I'm in one right now, but... <laughs> <laughs> not this, like, moment, but, like... Uh, oh. With relationships what? Yeah, yeah. I definitely feel like I'm in an embarrassing moment. I feel that, but it's okay. I was, like... I. Me and Dave aren't even in a relationship that long, but it feels like it was a really long time. Mm -hmm. Like, now that I'm single, it's like, I'm relearning how to be single me, you know? Yeah. Because, like, you know, I had, I had a vibe, I had a way I flirted, like, that worked for me. <laughs> no, you should really. My hair was red. No! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I have been, like, really thinking about, like, cutting it to my shoulders. Because, I mean, I've been getting a lot of dead ends. You should get not a lot of layers, but enough that it looks mm -hmm. like. <laughs> I just got rid of my layers. <laughs> Can layers, imagine... layers look better with short hair. The longer your hair gets, you don't, like, you don't need layers to make it look good. But with shorter hair, to make it look better, layers are, like, needed. At least for mine. Like, I'm like, I look like, like I took my hat off, shape. and I'm just like, I don't like the way it's not laid. I hate the way it's like, <laughs> no, I don't like that. <laughs> So, I'm gonna go get it cut, like, shagged again, but I'm gonna ask them to hire the layers a little bit so it looks more shaggy all the way down. I really want, I don't know, I don't want to do anything fancy, I just, it just needs, like, to get rid of the dead ends, really, you know? Yeah, but- Because I don't want to cut my hair, I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be different, but- But you might as well do it to, like, the level that's gonna make you happy, you know, so you're not looking in the mirror like, at least make it, like- something that you're gonna look at yourself with and be like, I look fucking hot. But, no matter what I do, I'm gonna look fucking hot, <laughs> Shay. I know, but like, you said I don't need to do anything fancy, but like, you should, because it's for you, and it's... I just don't want to. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with just having it shorter, like, I, I mean, I still look good. I definitely prefer long hair, but like... I don't know, after that video I just reacted to on my channel... I don't want long hair, but I know that's not what it's going to look like when I grow it out again. I'm just so used to, like, the, like, the shaggy emo girl look, and I like it a lot. <laughs> so, 
I really like the, I don't know, I like the long hair, pretty gothic girl look. <laughs> For some opposite. I'm like, still the damn tomboy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like oh being, my god! I like being pretty, but you also know, dark at the same time. I like, that's that's oh. another thing, like about our friendship and like our YouTube videos. <laughs> like, remember what we looked like in the first, you know, season <laughs> of our Caribbean season. Shady days. Oh, it is. <laughs> remember how like tomboy and like I was, and how like you're sitting there with your hair like half up and half down with a bow and. Like, we were trying to be, like, such, like, stereotypical things that we thought we were, but, like, we weren't. We didn't, we really didn't know who we were. Yeah. Like, it was, like, bits and pieces of who we were incorporated into what we thought was popular. Yeah. So it's, like, I still, like, dress like that and feel like that, and I am that person in a way. Like, not exactly who it was then. Like, there's a lot of things I was hiding back then about myself. And now I'm just like, yo. And it's just crazy because, like, <clears throat> we've changed so much styles, even though the baseline is still the same. Yeah. And it's still uh, more girly, more uh, masculine. Yeah. It's always been like that. Like, no matter what my style is, I always yeah. have this little masculine, like, touch to it. <laughs> I, I just vibe with it, and I always have. Yeah. Like, the beanie or, you know, just something like that. Or, like, a more baggy shirt. I don't know, it's so crazy, like, because, and then I went through the whole weird girly phase, and when it was not there, like, that part of my YouTube is horrible, because, like, you can tell that's not who I am, like, I'm just trying to be something that I'm yeah. not, like, I felt girly, I felt like the need to be girly with Jesse, like, because that's what he liked, he didn't like the tomboy stuff at all, I was like, well, I'm a mom now, let's make him happy, let's just be this person, it'll be good for YouTube, whatever, I look good. Like, I still love myself and everything, but it wasn't me, and I felt really, really trapped by it. Yeah, that's, like, uh, one thing about, like, actual romantic relationships that I've, like, I'm really trying to stop is being what they want. Yeah, it's so hard, because like, I just want to be liked. Like, something that, like, still, I don't know, it still hurts me. <laughs> but, like, forever ago, AJ was, like, telling me, like, I'm, like, really disappointed that you aren't as much as a car girl as you said you were. They're gonna say stuff like that to me too. And it's just like ow, like Yeah. I mean I like, guess sorry, I was just being myself. It's like I'm like I guess I was pretending to be more of a car girl than I actually was, but like But they see it um, as more like you tricked me instead of yeah. Oh, they were just trying to make you know, make me happy. That, yeah. You know, they don't see it as like a compliment and they just they just feel tricked and used all the time no matter what you yeah. do. But now I'm just like, I'm, I need to just like be who I actually am and then yeah. maybe actually find the right person to be yeah. with. And if a guy <laughs> like likes you for just you being you, yeah, then that's who you want to be with. Yeah, because they're exactly. just like, mm, those girls so fucking weird, I love it. You yeah. know, like, they're not going to care. They're going to find all the positives and yeah. all their negatives. They're just going to be like, yo, let's fix this, let's work together. And they're going to hype you the fuck up. Yeah, I get too obsessive. But, like, I can't, like, I really feel like I can't control it. Yeah. It's, like, I'm trying to, like, learn learn who I am. And so it's so like, hard. So I'm trying to, like, actually feel my feelings. Yeah. Because, like, for you to really find out who you are, you have to go through, like, you have to do shadow work and shit. Yeah. Like, there's no way, like, <laughs> you could, like, know who you are, but you're not going to be able to get there or feel that. Because there's parts of you you haven't healed yet, and no matter, like, how bad you try, you gotta do that. And, like, you can't avoid it forever, you know? It's the worst thing. Yeah. But it's also, like, the feeling you get afterwards, like... Yeah. afterwards it's like, yeah. oh my like, god, it's like a light bulb. It's like in the Wizard yeah. of Oz when he gets all shined up and stuff. It's <laughs> like, this is who I am, yeah. and then it's over and over again. Like, damn, damn! Like, yeah. I have, it's like, I have, had, I have that, like... Five, ten times a day. I'm like, <laughs> damn. I didn't like that. Wow, I just realized that. Holy right? Shit. Like, that's all I do every day. Like, all day, every day is just thinking. That's and it's it. like, sometimes it's the smallest, like, thing that doesn't even matter. But it's like, I've always, 
I was always asked, what's your favorite dog? What's your favorite breed of dog? And I always said, like, Husky or German Shepherd, which I love. I love them. But, like, that was also, like, what everybody else thought was cool, you know? Or at least that's what the, or people around me were. But, like... Even I'm sorry. I had one of these moments. No, it's not like a bad thing. It was just a very common thing I was, that I wanted to like, you know? So that's why I said those things. And even if it wasn't, like, I know that now, I didn't know that then. I just chose those because I did like them. But I never really sat there and put a thought into what my favorite breed of dog was. I just said something. But, like, today I even just realized, like, Dalmatians are literally my favorite fucking breed of dog. Mm-hmm. And I never, like, really realized it until more recently. And then I got to, like, pet it, and he licked my hand and sniffed it and stuff. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is literally my favorite breed. Why did I not know this my whole fucking life? Yeah, a lot it's of so the, simple. A like, lot of movie. my favorites have been changing. Like, a while ago, I had, I changed my favorite drink. Because I actually thought about it. Oh, Disney princess. Favorite Disney princess. I was always like, oh, what is Jasmine? And then it was Merida. But now I'm like, yeah. you know what? It's Ariel. It's always been Ariel. Fucking knew it. <laughs> Fucking knew it. <laughs> I've been saying that for so long. You're like, no, it's not. Like, you've but denied like, it to me so many times. Well, yeah, because and then, like, when I went home last, this last time for my birthday stuff, um, I told everyone that. I'm like, hey, just saying. Because my mom would, my mom needs to, like, hear that sometimes. Because she'll, like, forget and then she'll be like, she'd feel so bad. She's like, oh, ask me my favorite Ariel. She's like, ah, I'm so, I'm so, ah. <laughs> <laughs> got you married. I'm, still, I'm the worst mom ever. It's like, no, you're not. No, uh, you're not. You're doing a really good yeah. job. You got me so. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> as my second favorite Disney princess, like, I fucking love Merida. I fucking yeah. love her. But it's like, I've always had that connection with Ariel. And so I, um, but Stacy was right next to me. She's all like, I kind of knew that. And then I told her, like, why I didn't, like, why I said it wasn't Ariel for the longest time. And I told her, like, I just feel like since it was your favorite, you wouldn't want it to be my favorite. And so I just kind of let you have it, have that as for yourself. Because I always get everything I wanted, apparently, according to you. So I wanted to feel like you had something. Yeah. And she's like, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Like... That's crazy, though, like, the things you think when you're young. Yeah. Like that. And, like, the literal trauma that comes from almost every single person in your life. Like, yeah. it's not just, oh, my parents gave me trauma. No, it's like, my best friend has gave me trauma. My sisters and brothers have given me trauma. That kid on the school bus just gave me trauma. Like, yeah. it's not <laughs> just, like, these simple stereotypical things that people are saying it is, like, there's so many things I've healed from that I've done to myself, you know? Yeah, a lot of my trauma is, like, things that I told myself, and they weren't true. Like, like I said, with my sister, I feel like she wouldn't want me to have Ariel as my favorite. Like, I feel like she would have rolled, rolled so her eyes or been like, you know, no, she's not, whatever. Right. But she said, it's okay. So, like, I kind of knew it was her, like... Yeah. Like, it was whatever. And then, like, when I saw her reaction to that, I'm like... Like, damn, Ariel's my favorite. I'm gonna go with this. Like, this is... Mm-hmm. Like, I'm allowed. But, yeah. like, you shouldn't feel like that. You should yeah. already, like, do it. Yeah. So I was, like, telling her, like, I, I'm actually finding out who I am. And this is just one of the steps towards that. And I wanted to just share it with you guys so you all know... Yeah. My favorite Disney princess is Ariel. <laughs> so, Ariel-themed things for holidays and birthdays. Everybody got that? But I've been thinking... What I've been thinking about recently is my favorite movie. Because I've always said it was Two Towers. And it's like... Now I'm getting really into Harry Potter. And I had... A question thing come up. And it said, Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter? And I immediately pressed Harry Potter. And I'm like, well, shit. <laughs> but I don't, know. But I also don't feel like Harry Potter is like my top favorite. And I just feel like it's going to be like songs for me. Like, I don't have a favorite. It just depends on the yeah. genre. Yeah, well, people are always asked, like, oh, what kind of music do you listen to? What's your favorite song? What's your favorite genre? I'm like, I judge I judge songs by their songs, <laughs> not, by, not by their artists. Not to say except. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not by some exceptions. Not, not by the artist, not by the genre, but just the song. If I can listen to this song and I vibe with this song, it doesn't matter if it's rap or screamo or country or, or pop, you know, whatever. Whatever it is, if I vibe, I vibe, and I'm going to yeah. listen to it. 
whether I, like, there's some songs, I don't really care for Ariana on the Grande as a person, but there's some of her songs, and I'm like, my vibe with this, I'm gonna listen to it. Oh my gosh, I just remembered something that I wanted to talk about at okay. work today. The worst, I figured out what the worst kind of judgmental people are. Because, okay. you know, you can, like, take judgmental people and, like, put them in categories of how they're judging. Like, oh, that one's judging because trauma, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, you can put them in categories. The worst kind of judgmental people are the ones that judge people's personal opinions and likes. Like, for example, how we... <laughs> I'm like, well, <laughs> shit, that's me! <laughs> how, like, we liked One Direction, there was always people who were like, oh, what direction do five gay guys walk? And, you know, they're always hating on him. Be like, you like One Direction? One Direction sucks, blah, 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 blah. Like, we're not allowed to like that thing. That's the worst thing, because it's like... I could be like, okay, well, who do you listen to? And they could tell me and be like, that's disgusting, why do you listen to them? What do you think their reaction would be? Like, it's literally the worst thing, because they're allowed to like whatever they like, but what we like is wrong, unless we're like them. And that's like the worst kind of people who think they can take away other people's love for things, because they don't agree with it. I'm more judgy about the opposite. It's if you don't love something. Yeah. You are. <laughs> like, I don't really care for Tom Hiddleston. Well, I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't judge you a lot for that. I'm like, but like, as an whatever. example of something that we're not connected well, to. Well, a better example would be the Beatles. Because yeah. I've always, I've grown up thinking like, oh, they're the classic, everybody loves them. Yeah. And they're yeah. great, and like, everybody like, yeah, and all that stuff. And so it's like, when I started hearing people say, I don't like the Beatles, I got so offended. Like, my whole childhood just tore it apart. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean you don't like them? Why are you an alien? Yeah, I feel like that's kind of how I felt at like the beginning of One Direction. It was almost just like, people don't like these guys. They're so nice and funny and sweet and they have good music. And like, then people just like hating on them for just being people just made me mad. And now I'm at the point where I don't give a yeah, fuck well, what anybody thinks. I'm gonna like them and I don't care what you think. A lot of times I think about how. Like, my sister and I don't really have the same taste in music a lot. Like, we kind of have musicals together, like Wicked. And yeah. like, that's it. That's all we listen to <laughs> together. She actually gave One Direction a chance. And she's all like, they're really good. Yeah. Their voices People are really now... good. And so the, ever since she said that, like, I can't... Like, I don't, whenever... He's like, don't play One Direction, don't play One Direction. Don't... Well, and it's like, when people, like, say bad things about One Direction, I'm all like, you're just stupid. Like, my sister just, obviously just... knows that they're good, and she's like... She she She's, judges a lot when it comes to like the way people's music. voices sound. Yeah, so she was so, judging them as yeah. artists, as talented yeah. people, whereas the haters are judging them for like what they look like. Mm -hmm. They say what they sound like because it's not their type of music, so it's bad because it's not their type. The way they walk, the way they dress, <laughs> like they're judging them for the you know just the little clips the media puts together, things like that. Instead of just being like they say One Direction sucks, but like what about them? Yeah. Like, you have to be specific. If you don't like their music, then you don't like their music. But, like, hating on them as people it isn't going to make you get anywhere in life, you know? <laughs> I remember one time One Direction performed on TV. And I don't know why I wasn't in the room. <laughs> I, was in, I was in my room. Everybody else was watching it. And they just didn't say anything No, they you? did. They did. Oh. Like, 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 a little bit, like, as it started, kind of. But they're like, oh... They were like watching it and they're like, they don't sound good. They're kind of bad right now. Uh, and um, my mom was like, just don't tell Emily. Like, don't bring it up. I mean, like, you know, she needs to come out here and watch yeah. this, but like, don't tell her. I walk out there and I'm watching it and I'm like, hmm. And they're looking at me and they're like, okay, I think it's good to, like, to say. Like, I, they don't sound good, right? And I'm like, no, no, they don't sound good. <laughs> they, they must have an off day. Yeah. And Again, like, so, like, my sister like, was like, I I think they're, like, their voices are amazing. So it's like, so I knew something was off when they yeah. weren't singing good. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's. You can good. hear, you can tell, like, Louie messed up at the concert we just went to a couple of times. <laughs> but, like, it didn't matter. We were all singing shitty. <laughs> yeah. Like, we were there for the vibe and the feeling, you know? We weren't there because his voice may or may not sound the best. And, like, Gabby Hanna, for example, like, I was listening to the, her concert videos, and mm -hmm. 
she's not as good live as she is, you know, recording. Obviously, nobody is. But, like, the energy of everybody, and, like, everybody in the room didn't give a fuck about yeah. what was going on. They felt her energy, they felt her vibe, and they was, they were fucking rocking with it. I'm like, yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Fuck it if she messes up on those. Fuck it if she went flat right there. I don't give a shit. This is a vibe. I'm having a great time. We're smoking, you know? Yeah. That's the kind of people I want in my life. <laughs> those kind of people. Definitely. <laughs> I wish I would have gone to her concert. That would have been so sick. She literally w- probably... One of my top favorite artists, like, most listened to, definitely, she's always, like, because you know how you get those, um, <laughs> end of the year things, they'll tell you how many artists yeah. you listen to and stuff, and the t- they rank them. Gabby Ann is always in my top five, and recently it's always been, like, number one. Well, I mean, for me it's kind of hard, because I let it shuffle. Yeah, And I just true. enjoy it, so I don't really pick and choose. Yeah. But, like, I think it's still, number one is still One Direction. But, like, I do have a lot of One Direction. Yeah, I think I think they still rate on, like, how many songs you yeah. liked out of, like, what's the most, like, jo- or artist here, you know? <laughs> like, oh, One Direction, shit. <laughs> I've been finding a lot of new, like, female artists recently that I just really vibe with. And I like that. I like the feeling that connection and vibing with a specific person. Like, Gabby Hanna, because, like, I knew her on YouTube. So I'm like, I vibe so hard. Personally, I don't know about you, I was very open about One Direction through the whole time I liked them. So I got hated on a lot because of it. And like, a lot of things I heard was like, they don't even have any fans. Um, and a bunch of just like shit talking that I tr- like tried to I not get. I didn't hear about that. I wasn't, I didn't really No, I heard that it. all the time. I didn't really hide Every it, single but like person. I didn't talk about it all the time because I didn't. I, I like I wanted someone to talk to about it like that was like with like you yeah that really liked them too so I with people that I didn't think liked them I just didn't talk about it with them yeah so I just I was very open I about it but I didn't even care because it like One Direction helped me become like who I am like my whole just being out there not caring and loving myself like that's always been part of me but I've never been like hundred percent com- comfortable enough to just be that and be weird and be different. But, like, One Direction helped me do that, specifically Louie. So, I don't know, like, hearing all those things from people, I don't know, it just got to me in a specific way, because, like, he says that, and it really just touches my heart. I was like, yeah. Because sometimes it's like, they don't even know who I am, they are not. They don't care about their fans, things, that's what they say, like, they don't even care about their fans, they just care about the money, like, things like that, that people would say to me. So, like, hearing him, like, specifically say that. Because I'm like, no, Louis thinks I'm at every single concert. He does that at every single award ceremony. He does it. And they're like, whatever. It doesn't mean anything. So, like, hearing him say it in person was just like, it means something. Like, I feel it. It's to me. I know it. Like, it was like, the trauma everybody gave me. Most celebrities actually mean it. Yeah. Because, like, they realize that the whole reason they have everything they have is because of fans. Yeah, exactly. So most celebrities are very grateful for fans. That's true. So let's talk about Idol. So we are called... We... We died. We We died together? (laughs) We died together. Yeah, we died together. (laughs) We don't remember, apparently. We died together. Something like that. (laughs) So a while ago, like, a few months ago, I, I think I just randomly told Shay, look, we're dying on the same day. Oh, yeah, you, like, brought it up, and you're like, I thought about this recently, about, like, if you died before me. Yeah. And then you're just like, this is how I'd feel. I'm dying, too. And then I was like, okay. <laughs> and I was like, that'd be, like, the worst thing ever. I'm not, I don't want to do that. So, <laughs> Shay, we're dying the exact same day. She's like, okay. I'm like, we'll make jokes about it now. Like, we'll throw <laughs> out random scenarios and stuff and talk about it. I like the one that with the, like, I had watched it before you sent it to me, but I still rewatched it where the... She's like pretend crying. She hops in the coffin with her. She's like, You think you're going without me? <laughs> Bitch, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. and I was like, Yep, this is awesome. Yep. You ever get just like a feeling of a moment in your life? Like what you felt like when you were there? How like you just get like the, the physical feeling, like the energy. So like, for yeah. example, each One Direction album has a different feeling. Like if I hear a song, I feel a certain way, I feel like I'm in that time that era again, like in my bedroom listening to it, I can like feel it. Yeah. I just got, like, a random feeling of how I felt a job cord. It was really fucking weird. I was like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was almost nostalgic, because there were, like, a lot of good things there, but, like, I don't want to go back. Like, I literally have so many different dreams about going back to job Corps, and they're all different, but I'm always there, and I don't want to go back. 
All of them are like, this is what I should have done, this is what I should have done, this is what I should have done. Like, I change it every time. I was like, apparently Job Corps was a bad experience for me if I just want to change all of it. I'm oblivious sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I'm like, I really read into the details and I'm like, wait a minute. And other times I'm like, you got a haircut? <laughs> what? <laughs> Didn't notice. Well, sorry, my bad. <laughs> Thank you for watching slash listening. I like, comment, and share, and subscribe. And make sure to check out our, like our actual YouTube videos on our Sorry. podcast. Check out our personal channels. Link down below. Don't forget to live in the now. Live in the now. Epic Kirby. Don't forget, Don't forget to, live to live in the, in the now. now. Remember to follow your dreams. I love you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>